And I'm on a boat. I'm here again with uh, Michaela and we made a little bit of a change of plans and before we started on this trip we hoped to be able to stay at this campsite that we're staying at tonight but it was fully booked and after checking just a few days ago some spots opened up so we we changed some of our plans and made sure that we can canoe here on Maline Lake and we're going to stay at Fisherman's Bay tonight so I know there's a very iconic spot here to photograph uh, called Spirit Island which Fisherman's Bay Campground is very close to so I think we've got about four hours to paddle to get there. It is quite a nice day but there's there's a little bit of cloud cover over some of the mountains. Uh, a little bit hard to uh, take pictures while we're paddling but uh, we'll see when we get some stop offs and uh, well I'm not sure what's exactly in store but we'll see what we get. Check out this view. It looks absolutely amazing. We just arrived at Fisherman's Bay. Actually made really good timing. We stopped for a little snack while in the canoe, stopped for a little uh, toilet break, and I think we made it here in about three hours, which uh, was faster than both of us were expecting. So not too bad. I think a lot of our photographic uh, focus is gonna be, uh, there's a little island right there, uh, Spirit Island. And I have seen some photos there and it looks absolutely, oh, it just looks absolutely beautiful. But uh, we have to unload our red canoe, which will probably make uh, an appearance in some of our photos, uh, get our tent set up, and then I think we're gonna go explore. But what a spot to be for the night, just absolutely surrounded by mountains. Nature at its finest. It was just maybe 15 minutes ago I was wearing my hat and sunglasses and now uh, we're stuck in this tent because the rains come. Uh, it sort of came out of nowhere as we were just finishing up our lunch, but uh, had to set up the tent pretty quickly, get it uh, ready for the rain, and now we're just uh, waiting in here. We had some plans to head to the nearby Spirit Islands and sort of scout it out because we wanted to get there for uh, sunset and sunrise, and I don't think it's too far of a paddle, but uh, Given the current conditions, I think we're gonna just sit here and wait it out a little bit. But I do hope we can get out there because I'd really like to scout it out given that I haven't been there yet. Oh, what a long day. It is currently 9.30 and it's not even sunset yet. So Michaela and I have had quite a busy afternoon. We got to camp at about one o'clock and then uh, felt a bit exhausted. So we did take a bit of a nap and thunderstorm rolled in, a lot of rain rolled in. So it was the perfect time to take a nap. Had some dinner and then we rushed out to Spirit Island. We were actually just sort of out running a storm. So I don't have any footage for that because we went pretty fast, or we, we at least tried to. But we got some really nice photos at Spirit Island. We're gonna try and go there tomorrow morning as well, where hopefully the light and the conditions will really work for us. But we got back to camp now, and uh, using our beautiful red canoe, uh, we were shooting some beautiful reflections just as the, the water was coming down at the end of the day. And uh, one of the interesting things was that uh, just from our location, because of uh, the height of the mountains, what we were actually doing was sort of doing a delayed shutter, raising the tripod with the camera on it as high as we could just to sort of shorten that reflection on the water. And that way we were able to get the beautiful red canoe and the full mountain reflection with the trees there. Uh, if we were just sort of shooting from eye level or something or even lower, the mountains sort of come too close to shore and then get cut off. So always trying new things, experimenting. I had to take a couple more shots because in a way we're shooting blind, but 
it ended up working out really well and it's such a beautiful reflection. So worked out really well.